I'm Justin St. Pierre, and this is a guide to food, Philadelphia Special. Now let's get right into it. To start off, I'll be making a Philly cheesesteak. But before we get into the Philly cheesesteak and actually how to make it, let's get into the history of Philadelphia. Alright, now going into the background of Philadelphia. It's a little about the history of the city. Um, it became a major political and economic center after it was founded in 1682 by William Penn. It was even the capital of the United States during the 1790s. Um, it's at, Philadelphia is a melting pot of different cultures. Um, Irish, Italians, Germans, Asians, Puerto Ricans, African Americans. Um, there's just a few of the many immigrants that came to Philadelphia, which helped the food and the culture develop. Um, so because of all the different cultures, you no know, like one specific custom that the people do, which I think is kind of cool because it allows like a blend of all these different cultures, which helps the food. All right, so some of your more famous foods are like the funnel cake, um, your roast pork sandwich, and of course, a Philly cheesesteak. Um, the geography, um, because it's located on the Delaware River and it's in the nor northeast part of the United States, um, this allows it to have a surprisingly fresh access to seafood. Um, so a lot of fresh seafood is served everywhere in Philadelphia. Um, for the holidays, again, uh, almost every holiday is celebrated, but obviously the more popular one is going to be Christmas. Um, just because there's just more people who celebrate that. Um, so your typical meal is looking like either you can go for a Philly style bagel or donut with fresh cup of coffee for breakfast. For lunch, you can have a Philly cheesesteak. For dinner, you can have red gravy pasta, which is basically Philly's way of saying spaghetti and meatballs. Um, for your snacks, you got tasty cakes, water ice, uh, a Philly style soft pretzel, and peanut chews. So why I chose the Philly cheesesteak to be my main food item? Well, it's actually the most iconic food that comes out of Philly, without a doubt. And there's a lot of history behind the sandwich. I will go further in depth in the next section. So the Philly cheesesteak was actually invented in the 1930s by Pat Oliveri when he decided to cook some steak and throw it onto an Italian roll. And actually a cab driver caught a smell of it and he decided he wanted one too. And so basically that's how the Philly cheesesteak was created. Um, now there's been some mods that have been added to it and stuff like the addition of onions. Um, but the main thing is the cheese whiz. Without cheese whiz, you cannot have a Philly cheesesteak. You can have a steak and cheese, but you cannot have a Philly cheesesteak. All right, so for safety and sanitation, you always wanna make sure you wash your hands and work, and make sure you're working on a clean surface because you are using meat. Um, and when you're cleaning up your griddle, um, your griddle should have a little slot in the back and a, a grease catcher, and that's where you want to shove all of like the extra grease and uh, like burnt food and stuff like that. You want to push it through that hole into the grease catcher, and that will allow you to easily clean your griddle. All right, so this is how you make a, uh, a Philly cheesesteak. So first, you want to grab your uh, black stone butter and oil mixture. So this is some butter oil. You just want to squirt it. Oh, hold on. Okay. Right. You want to squirt it. And then you want to grab your, uh, your onions and you just dump them on. And now I'm just trying to cook. You just want to uh, kind of just mix it up a little bit, you know. Try to make sure you're cooking them because they're lightly brown, so it's cooking a little bit. You just want to make sure they're nice and evenly cooked. They don't want one to be more cooked than the other. Alright, now we can let these sit for a little bit and we can go grab our steak. We can just pop that on there. Alright, 
forward. What kind of steak are you using? I'm using a, uh, a ribeye steak right here. So I'm just here. And then he's going to want to uh, chop and pull so he can cut the steak. I'll make sure it's nice and thin. When you're prepping your steak, you want to uh, you want to make sure it's slightly frozen. Um, just make it easier to cut with a knife. Remember, just pull, and you'll cut your ribeye. What are you cooking on here? Smells delicious, bud. You know, we're just gonna still keep mixing it. We wanna make sure it's well done. We don't want medium rare for a Philly cheesesteak. Make sure this is cooking well. Here on this one, a little brown. All right, now we're gonna make sure we put our mixture on, which is uh, an AP seasoning, an all purpose seasoning. And this is basically um, salt, pepper, and garlic. And it makes it a lot easier. Uh, so you have to use three separate things, mix it up. Trying to see if it'll look quick. Now we're gonna start mixing the onions in with the steak. Alright, while it's going, we can uh, start on our bread here. And you don't want to get a little bit of butter and you don't want to pour it down. You can also pour it right here on onto the thing, onto the bread. Let's go ahead and uh, Press that down. I'll make sure it's nice and evenly toasted. I'm gonna make sure you're keeping it moving so all the pieces are evenly cooked. Smells real good.
kind of cheese you using? Isn't provolone cheese here? You can use whatever cheese you like, but provolone is usually the go-to. And as you can see, it's gonna start melting pretty quickly. Now, you can't have a Philly cheesesteak without cheese whiz. That's the main part of a Philly cheesesteak. So, we have some right here. Um, now he's gonna wait, just let it chill for a little bit. As you can see, the cheese is already starting to melt. Now in the meantime, go ahead and start our second piece of bread. Making sure we press it down so it gets nice and toasted. See, the cheese is starting to uh, starting to melt, so what we can do is we can take our bread right here, we can make our first sandwich, so you just want to scoop, and then place. Alright, she's a little messed up, but that's okay. Alright, now, you want to come over here, I'm going to take your cheese whiz, you want to scoop it, we can just pour it on. Remember, cheese whiz is the main ingredient to a Philly cheesesteak. All right, there you go. That's our first sandwich done. Over here, make sure our bread is nice and toasted. I'm gonna flip it real quick. Uh, it could go a little longer. We'll take a little more uh, of the butter oil. Now, if you don't have butter oil, you can go ahead and just use a mixture of oil and uh, about a tablespoon of butter, and you can take this stuff right here. But the butter oil makes it a lot easier. this over here. Now we want to take the remainder. And remember this over here. I'll take the remainder and just put it all onto this one. Now we're gonna come over here. Take our cheese whiz. Right there, you got two nice Philly cheesesteaks. That sounds cool. Right there, that's how you make them. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episodes of A Guide to Food. Now, come back next week when we check out Japan.
saw her ass like, hey. So? Yeah, I told y'all. Yeah. So I made it mine. Yeah, I told y'all. Yeah. So I made it mine. Yeah. Jump in the bar. Rather than not. Yeah. I changed your life.